Hey guys, John Dean here and in today's video we're going to talk about ranking in the search engines. We're first of all going to have a look at how the search engines analyse your website and give you a ranking and then secondly we're going to delve inside Market Samurai and look at their rank tracker module which allows you to uh, chart your progress over time and it kind of does all the heavy lifting for you. So let's head on into the video. Okay, before we go into Market Samurai and look at the Rank Tracker module, let's first talk about how um, the search engines look at your site and how you improve through the rankings as time goes on. So by now you should have uh, your site up with maybe your first article on there. So there's not a lot of content on there, it's your, it's your first piece. And what happens is Google and the other search engines will come along and they'll crawl your site and analyse the content and define what keywords it thinks you're targeting and it also have a look to see if there's any backlinks pointing to your site. So from that it will give you an initial ranking in their search index so when you search for the keyword you'll show up somewhere in there. Now as time goes on and you add more content and get more backlinks to your site Google and the other search engines will come and recrawl your site. It'll have a look at your content again, and it'll have a look at the extra backlinks that are now pointing back to your content and back to your site, and they'll reassess the position and hopefully move you up the search rankings. Then, as you add even more content and get even more backlinks to your site, then Google once more and the other search engines will come along, they'll crawl your site again, and they will give you a new position in the search engines. Now, this doesn't happen straight away. It happens over a period of time and Market Samurai has a great feature in it, the Rank Tracker, in order for you to keep a tab of your movement in the search engines. Um, now one, one thing that people um, always get a little bit wary of when they first put a site up is they might get an initial ranking maybe on maybe as high as page 1, they might get to position 10 or 12 or something like that on, on page 2 with their very first piece of content and then a few days later the page might drop out of the search uh, results and end up in position 800 and people go oh no my, my site's been slapped and it, it's not it's just it's something that we call the Google dance Google will initially give you your first uh, position of where where they rank your content and then they'll revisit it over time and they'll have a look at the content more in depth, they'll have a look at more of the backlinks pointing to your site and then they'll give you a more realistic ranking for your page. So if you first of all jump up to position 22 and then three days later you're down in position 500, don't worry about it, this is normal behaviour. It's what we call the Google dance so don't fret just keep adding content and keep getting backlinks to your site and we'll cover this more in future videos but just don't fret if you bounce around a little at the start because this is just all natural behavior so now you understand about how Google and search engines will initially index your content and then you will uh, raise in rank over time let's go over to Market Samurai and look at the rank tracker module and see how we can enter our site and our keywords and let Market Samurai do the hard work of tracking our progress for us. So here we are inside Market Samurai and to access the Rank Tracker module we just click on the Rank Tracker link on the left hand side. Once we're in here the first thing we need to do is add our domain that we want to track. So up on the top right there's a button that says Add Domains. If you click on that button you get this box to add the uh, web address of your site. So the, the domain I'm going to track is www.vintageelectricguitarblog.com which is one of our older challenge sites. Once you've added your web address in there, just click on the Add Domains button. You'll now see at the top left it says Primary Domain and it'll have your domain name in there. The next thing we need to add is the keywords that we want to track against. So if you come down to the bottom right hand side you'll see there's a, a button that says add keywords. When you click on the add keywords uh, button you'll again get a box that pops up that asks you to put your keywords in. So if, if you put in the keywords that you've been researching so far for your theme and categories um, into the box and you'll see here I've got four that uh, the vintage electric guitar blog is targeting and you paste them into this box one uh, key phrase per line 
and then once you've done that you click on the add keyword button you'll now see in market samurai that we've got the four keywords uh, listed here and you'll notice there's two asterisks next to each uh, keyword the two asterisks simply mean that um, market samurai hasn't gone out and fetched any data yet also as well as tracking your domain we've actually got um, the functionality to add other web addresses into the rank tracker module to track against these keywords um, for example um, Ed had previously written an article on vintage electric guitars uh, which is on ezinearticles.com so if we highlight the web address there and copy that web address we can in market samurai at the top we can add a URL to track if you click on the add URLs button you can paste in the uh, URL that you want to track and then check the keyword keywords uh, that you want to track that URL against as well this allows you to have a look at other content that's not on your website and track that their progress in um, the search engines as well so I'm going to click on add URLs to add that easy article to the list now that we've added the domain the keywords and any other URLs you might not have any other URLs at the moment so don't worry about it you can always add them at a later time but once we've added those things in we need to then go and um, specify which search engines we want to uh, look at and uh, which backlink source as well so you'll see up here in the left we've got the choice of choosing Google Yahoo and Bing now it's up to you which ones you want to choose for this example I'm, a, I'm just going to check Google because um, it will the more options you choose Yahoo and Bing the longer it will take for Market Samurai to get the data so for this example I'm just choosing Google I'm also going to check the box for phrase match results and this is because when you initially start a site and you put some new content out you will start to rank for phrase match earlier and higher than you will uh, rank for broad match this is just the way it happens and it's normal behavior so don't fret about it um, but it's a good idea to check this box first so we can see if we're ranking where we're ranking for phrase as well as for broad also the backlink source that we've got um, here is set to majestic SEO and it's set to the historic index this will give us the widest possible number of backlinks that are pointing to our site and they will get returned in the results as well over on the right hand side we can choose how far into the search engines we want to look for our pages now when we first start out you want to set this to around the top 1000 mark and that will make Market Samurai look 1000 results deep and then have a look for your site there as you start to rise up the search engine rankings and get in the 200s or the 100s you can then move this upwards to uh, a lesser amount because then Market Samurai will run a little bit quicker finding the results it doesn't have to look so deep so it will run a little bit quicker however when you're starting off you want it to say the top 1000 so we can have a look as deep as we can in order to find out where the, where you're ranking so I'm going to choose top 1000 once we've selected all of those we just need to click on this update rank data button and Market Samurai will go off and it will search through uh, the search engines against those keywords for your domain and for also that easy article that we put up so I'm going to come back in just a few minutes once Market Samurai has finished doing its analysis okay Market Samurai is now finished doing its analysis and has returned some results back now as you can see we've got the four keywords listed here and then we've got the broad match position in Google and the phrase match position in Google and as you can see the ranking page for vintage electric guitar blog.com is ranking in position one on broad match and position one on phrase match for the keyword vintage electric guitar vintage electric guitar blog.com is also uh, ranking 241 in broad match for the keyword antique guitar and 190 position 191 in phrase match for the keyword antique guitar when you first run um, this rank tracker module on your site and on your keywords there might be some minus signs in these boxes 
What that means is that Google hasn't indexed your domain yet against those keywords. Don't worry, this is normal behavior. As time goes on and uh, you follow through the challenge for, uh, for the role on indexing and backlinking, you will, you will eventually get indexed. So don't worry if there's minus signs there. If you see that there's a plus sign there, like there is here on a couple of the results, it means that you it has been indexed, but it is not in the search depth. Now, the search depth we're looking at here is the top 1,000. So this easy in articles has been indexed, but it's not in the top 1,000 against the keyword vintage Gibson guitar. On the right hand side, you see there's a little arrow as well next to each result. If you drop this arrow down, it expands the keyword set so it's expanded vintage electric guitar and it shows all the different pages that are ranking against the keyword vintage electric guitar. So we can see the main domain is ranking and then this page here vintage electric guitar blog uh, and then a, a post called vintage Fender duo sonic guitar jump blues is ranking at position 58. The easy in article is ranking in position 106 and so on. We can also see on the right hand side the number of backlinks that are from Majestic which are pointing to this page and the page rank of the page. There's also this little icon here which is the graph. Now if we click on it you'll see a little graph opens up at the bottom and at the moment there is only one point on there uh, because we have only run the rank tracker for this first time. Every single time you run the rank tracker module it will take a snapshot of your results and then over time it will plot your progress on a graph and you can have a look at the different graphs for backlinks, page rank, data and you can also hide it and obviously the position which is the one that it's on at the moment. So your action step for today is to go into the rank tracker module, add your domain and add the keywords that you're targeting and then set your criteria for how deep you want to search and run the rank tracker module. Now if all you get back is minus signs don't fret and don't think you're doing anything wrong. You've got a brand new site that's gone on the internet and these things don't just happen with a click of the fingers. They do take a little bit of time to get indexed and then they take a bit of time to start climbing up the rankings. So pop your domain in there, pop your keywords in there, get used to how the rank tracker module works and and let it run.